Hey everybody, Solar coming to you guys with another exciting Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle video. So we're on Monday of the week of the release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So, without further ado, we are going to start our kind of last week theme trend. A few people recommended me do this, as well as the fact that I'm like, you know what, I should do it before we switch over to the games and we lose the Pokemon that we currently need. I'm going to be doing every Gym Leader's team from Sword and Shield. Now, some of them don't have, um, six Pokemon. I believe Opal only has four, so I kind of fused her team with, uh, Bead, because they both become Fairy Gym Leader at some point in the game. And Milo, luckily, had six to choose from, uh, two being version exclusive, so that gave us the sixth Pokemon. Certain ones like Melanie and Gordy only have five, so we're only sticking to five, because since they are different type gym leaders, we cannot switch between their Pokemon or combine them into one. So those teams will only have five. Same with Kabu, he's another trainer that only has five Pokemon. So, yeah. Now anyways, we're going with their actual movesets, and we are going to be using their Gigantamax Pokemon, so in this case Milo never used Gigantamax, like, had his Gigantamax form when you first fight him, but it turns out that you can either use Appleton or Flapple, depending on the version you're in, but we're even using their movesets, like I said, so we have our, they don't have items, so the items were up to us to pick. So we have uh, uh, Eldegoss, I always forget this thing's name, I never use it. With Rocky Helmet, we have Ludicolo with Muscle Band, yes, it's a physical one for some silly reason. Expert Belt Zarina, Leftovers Appleton, Life Orb uh, Shift Tree, and Heat Rock Cherum. You can see its little eyes. So I'll meet you guys at our first battle. We've already had a long enough intro, don't want it to be more than two, three minutes stop. So see you guys. Our first battle is against Alfonso, who happens to have a Charizard, which will completely wreck my entire team. We did have a battle against some guy named Sergio first, but he refused to pick it. Then we had a person named Sabrina that also didn't pick, and so the battles just, like, weren't being found, so... Oh, they let off with Mamoswan. I'm perfectly fine with that. We have Skeeter Skate, our shift tree. A Pokemon I actually thoroughly enjoy, so we are going to go for the fake out. We're going to shut down his rocks and his focus sash if he has one. Which did pretty good damage. We should outspeed it though, so I'm just going to go for the Leaf Blade. Mammal Swine's another Pokemon that can also hit us pretty hard, but luckily we are grass, so we are super effective, and Mammal Swine got to do nothing. Excellent. Goodbye, Mammal Swine. Beautiful. Okay, so Mammal Swine was not a threat. At all. Another thing that I'm going to be glad for in the remakes is we're actually going to get to see some different Pokemon for once. It's not always going to be the same ones. We really don't have anything to hit them. What does this prevent sound based moves? But Body Slam is technically stronger. I do believe we are not faster than Charizard. Okay. Well, sadly we lost Skeeter Skate, so he's down. But we do have you, and you also have pretty much the same move pool. So we're going to send out Husan Chop, which is in a netball, because netballs are pretty cool. So we're also going to go for the fake up. Yeah, this guy is also physical. Luckily, I did have a physical one from my um, Mirror B team. So I think that's pretty cool. This guy does have muscle band, though. So we're going to just Dynamax and then go for the Max Geyser. That way he can't really do anything to us, hopefully. So, now we're going to turn big. Oh wait, I'm supposed to Gigantamax... Yeah. I'll have to show it off in the next battle. Because, let's be real. We can't afford to use him as our Gigantamax in this battle. His team just counters us so hard. Now, he'll go for the Hurricane, obviously. Hopefully it won't confuse us. That did so much damage, though. We have own... Oh, wait, no, we can't be confused, because we have own tempo. Never mind. I don't have to worry about that at all. And there we go. The biggest threats are actually down. Now, the only, like, big issue Pokemon I have on my team is actually Cherim. Not because it's bad, but because it needs to set up the sun... And none of his Pokemon carry Sunny Day other than it. 
or have Drought as an ability. Uh, so we got Gengar. Gengar is going to outspeed us. Gengar is also probably his Gigantamax. I don't think he needed to, because now he's just wasting a turn. But at the same time, I don't really have anything that can resist it, because it is poison type. Yeah, there's Gengar. I forgot all about this. Like I said, his team counters us really, really hard. Like, look at that big bad boy with his big old tongue. And he will... Oh, I know he will outspeed us because we don't have Swift Swim. We're supposed to have own tempo, so that's not my fault. Not my fault that Milo's team is honestly really, really, really bad. And these are his, like, late-game movesets, like in the Star Tournament and the uh, Championship Battle. Now, I don't know if I have anything that can survive it. Do I? What do you have for... Um... Oh, you're specially defensive. You may be able to survive. So... We're gonna send out Glow Stem. You might be able to do something, hopefully. You actually literally cannot, so we're just going to go for the Protect. The issue is I don't have anything to hit him. I need him to go back down to a small form so he's fragile, but... I don't know. Like, I don't have anything that outspeeds Gengar. We need Skeeter Skate alive. But no, he didn't outspeed Charizard, so if he didn't outspeed Charizard, he wasn't going to outspeed Gengar either. Which sucks. But, like I said, there's a good chance you're not going to win with these because a lot of people bring mixed teams, and this guy's not choosing a move. I don't know why. Like, he's going to obviously beat me. He just goes for Max Ooze. Max Ooze one more time, and then that's like three of my Pokemon down. And we went for the Protect. Just assault his Dynamax, hopefully. Yeah, it took that long to use Max Ooze. Okay. This is still probably going to do half. Okay, no. That actually didn't do as much as I was expecting. But then again, Max Ooze and Max Knuckle are capped off at like a certain percentage. All I can do is go for the Giga Drain and hope we do something. Uh, he doesn't have Liquid Ooze as an ability, does he? Yeah, Glow Stem's dead. My poor little guy. Like I said, there's really nothing we could do. Like, Gengar is a hard counter. Especially with the rain up. Um, yeah, like, our only chance is Candy did here with Zen Headbutt, and that's about it. Oh my god, this is hard. was not expecting this hard of a battle. Anyway, Zen Headbutt. Wait, we actually outspeed? Why do we outspeed? If I knew I would have outsped, I wouldn't have sent out the- Oh, it was Rocky Helmet. Wait, why was Ludicolo so slow then? Sorry for the silence, I need to have a drink. As soon as I record, my throat hurts. I can talk all day, but when I record, no, Intellian. Alright, this thing's obviously bringing out the Ice Beam. Yeah, like I said... Oh, no, she has Sunny Day, too. Uh, Trop Kick. Like, we literally... Actually outspeed. Okay, cool. Yeah, but see, instead of, like, Power Whip, we have Trop Kick. Wow. Zarina is actually making a comeback. <laughs> if I would have known that... Actually, no, I had to wait for it to... Exit Dynamax, otherwise we wouldn't be able to one-shot it, would have one-shot us, and then still gain special attack and everything, and still would have screwed over our team. So, no, no, I think I kind of took the right play. Some Asian Pokemon. Now, that thing we're not outspeeding, but luckily, they weren't dumb enough not to give us high jump kick. Oh, it missed its hyper... Oh, no, never mind, it didn't miss its hyper beam, it's... We're dead. Get out of there! Ah! Well, we're toast. Now that's the strategy I like to see. So, now we're going to send out 
Uh, what was your name? Candy Pop. They're all Pikmin references for some reason, except for one of them. Being, um... Oh, what's his name? It was, um... Ludicolo that wasn't from it. It was just a reference to Looney Tunes. So we'll set up for a sunny day. Then we'll transform. I do like Cherim. And the fact that Cherim comes back is, is pretty cool. Now we can just go for the Solar Beam. I know we won't outspeed it because that thing is fast. I highly doubt it's going to go for a Hyper Beam. It's probably going to go for like an Ice Beam. Because it can carry like Hyper Beam. I Oh, never mind. This is going for Hyper Beam. Will that actually KO me? Yep. Candy Pop is just straight up dead. Wait, who was our last Pokemon? Oh. It's Sweetest Pie. Also our only shiny Pokemon. Yay. We're made of delicious pie. Uh, what do you do? 80 base power. Also, okay, no, we want this because Lord's special attack as well. Must recharge. Cool. Apple Acid. Go! Blech. There we go. And now we can just finish you off with a Dragon Pulse. I wonder if it's going to go for the Hyper Beam. It probably will, considering it's going to die anyway. Ow. I should have went for Recover. Or, you know, it doesn't even matter. We lose, but... You know, we did our best. Not much we could do, honestly. Like, Charon would not have been able to one-shot it. Not without Sunny Day Up. But it was a good battle. I'll see you guys for the second battle. Alrighty, our second battle is against Beast, who has one Pokemon once again that'll completely wreck us. Because it's a Cinderace. And every time I'm, like, the one who decides the rules for these battles, the other person doesn't connect. It's starting to annoy me. And Shuckle, an annoying little Pokemon, but eh, whatever, I guess. This thing's bulky, though. So we'll obviously go for the Fake Out. So we'll stop it from doing anything this turn. I'm going to have his leftovers. No, it's Rocky. No, that's me. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll switch into Sweetest Pie. Because he's probably going to go for Stealth Rock, Sticky Web, stuff like that. We'll keep him for the Cinderace. So let's send out a little buddy here. Here comes the Sticky Web, yep. Beautiful. Now we'll go for the Iron Defense. Sweet. Go! We'll buff up his defenses. Which isn't very exciting, but whatever. Stealth Rock, okay, that... I don't think that really affects any of our Pokemon too much. We don't have an Ice type, we don't have a Fire type, and we don't have a Flying type. Now, what do these do? Max Sweetness, heals the status conditions. So now we'll just go for Apple Acid to lower its special defense. It's probably going to switch out, right? It's done its job. It's just, yeah, it's just going to be here to be annoying now. Here comes Cinderace, the Rank Master. I do have Thick Fat, so it's not like it's going to do too much damage to me. So, we'll go for the Apple Acid, decrease its special defense, which is perfect. They actually did a lot of damage, surprisingly. Now that its special defense is dropped, we can now Dynamax and go for the Max Worm Wind. Now, like I said, you guys will... Ah! You think I'm that dumb? I was going to say... You guys actually get to see both of them. Is it going to be? Yep. It's Gigantamax Cinderace. Yeah. Honestly, it does look pretty cool, though. Like, looking at it, it is a really cool Dynamax. Or Gigantamax. Now, go, big boy. I'm going to miss this Pokemon. This is one of the few Pokemon from this gen I'm going to miss. I'm also going to miss, like, Copperage, uh, Flapple, stuff like that. Now I'm a big candied apple. I am a big worm dragon. Now we know we're gonna get hit first. I went for max ooze. Okay. Wait, but is it phys? Wait, are you special? Interesting. It could be attack though. Oh, it's life orb. Cool. Anyways, Max Wormwind, go! 
And we took care of it! We actually killed it! Nice, that crit! Beautiful! Goodbye, Tubbs! His threat has been defeated by the Fire Immunity Dragon! Ha ha ha! Oh man, that deserves a drink of lemonade, man. That, that deserves it. You gotta stay hydrated while recording, guys. Remember that. Also, while you guys are watching these videos, grab some popcorn, grab a healthy snack. Oh, if you have an ice move, buddy, I love you. Because you're still gonna die. I do want to go for max sweetness before I faint, though. Like, this Pokemon is slow. Oh, dude, we have iron defense up. That's not gonna do anything. Sucks to be you. Max Wormwood, go! Kill it! Normally, I hate Dracovish, or seeing it. I love Dracovish. I love all four fossils. I cannot complain about any of their designs this generation, but... Yeah, I hate playing against it. There's a lot of Pokemon that I like, and they're fun to play in the normal game, but you don't like to use them, like, in Wi-Fi battles, because you know they're strong cloister. Oh, we actually have a reason to go for our attack. Oh, he's probably Icicle Spear, right? He's probably, um... Oh, never mind. Oh, he's Focus Sash! Which, for him, he doesn't know that I can just go for Fake Out on him. Like, yeah, he'll beat this Pokemon, obviously. We got to use all three turns of Dynamax. We got to do as much damage as humanly possible. Now we get to see this move. I've never actually used it, by the way. Well, it's a bunch of apples. There, now if we had any status conditions, we would have been healed up. Oh, he's... Oh, I was gonna say, he probably also has focus... Or, like, weakness policy, but you can't focus Sash and weakness policy on the same Pokemon. Now we shrink down. Ah, there we go. And we can just attempt to go for Apple Acid. We know we're not gonna be able to. Like, at all. He can finish me off, though I do have Thick Fat. I wonder if Thick Fat plus a plus two in defense would be enough. I don't know, he's got, he's still got four Pokemon though, including this one. Oh yeah, Shuckle being one of them. I do have Waterfall though, so if I can somehow decrease his defense, or maybe use, um, what's his name, Cherim on it, that would be good. Dude, just go for your attack already. Like, dude, come on. My god. This man is taking forever. It's making me have to cough. I need another drink, dude. Does he know he's gonna loot? Wait. He went AFK, because if you go AFK, you just use the same move twice in a row. Yay, Appleton! Appleton actually gets the kill again! Yay! Pew! Man, Appleton putting in the work, buddy. And we get to heal up even more. This guy's just letting me regenerate HP. Wait, was that 13 HP? That's quite a bit. Man. Oh, he's back. Blastoise. How you doing, pal? You know, this is gonna be mean, but I'm gonna try this. Oh. Eh. Cool. It's another Shell Smasher. Is he the White Herb one, though? What if he's the White Herb one? Yeah, he's the White Herb one. Typical. Wait! Oh, I thought I was Pokemon at Shell Smash for a minute. There we go. Now I'm back to full HP. Here comes the Apple Acid. If we need at least one Apple Acid, I think we're good. I went for Dark Pulse. Okay. Blech. Beautiful. <laughs> Dude, this Pokemon is literally meant to be bulky. And this isn't even the right EV spread or IV spread for like his moveset. This was supposed to be a totally different set. Wait, no, never mind. This one was actually all offensive. Wait, why does he go for Dark Balls? Why is he not going for... I'm pretty sure Ice Beam would do more. He just let his Pokemon die. Why? I'm so confused. I shouldn't be winning this battle. 
there's no way in Arceus's head that I would ever win this battle. Obstagoon, the Rank Master. One of the coolest shinies, by the way. Now, this thing, I really don't have anything for. We're just going to attempt to drop its special defense. It's faster than me, and it's going to go for a facade, which will not actually take me down. Okay, cool. Blech. I wonder if we can actually get off a recover. I don't think we can. Can we? I don't think so. We'll try. So he's going to go for facade again and then take us out. But whatever. We only lost one Pokemon. We almost had the epic sweep without literally setting up anything. He's the one who set up things, not me. Mm. Oh, you have Rocky Helmet. I will use you. I actually have a reason to use you. But what we're going to do is we're going to send out Skeeter Skate for this. We're just going to flinch him. We're going to let this one die, switch into Glow Stern, use Protect, take the burn damage, let him hit, and then bada bing bada boom. We'll just keep doing that. So go for the big out. Do some okay damage, I guess. Like this. Now he'll flinch. He'll take some burn damage. Alrighty. And then we can just go for the Leaf Blade and, you know, stall this turn. So there we go. Skeeter Skate is down for those Pikmin fanatics out there. You should get the reference. Now what we'll do is we'll send out Glow Stem. Because why not? Haha! My Dandelion Pokemon. At least I think it's... No, it's Cotton Ball. Never mind. I don't know why I thought it was Dandelion. And then we'll go for the Protect. Just get the Burn Damage. <laughs> well, if our seeds disappear for a second, though, I think that's kind of cute. Eat some more of your burn damage. Now, now if we can survive this, this would be pretty sweet. So I'm just going to go for the Cotton Guard. We're probably going to take a lot of damage here. Might not actually faint, though. Oh, never mind, we fainted. But he fainted, too. Bye-bye. Get out of here, Obstagoon. Now, how many Pokemon does he have left? Um, we could use you. We have you, though, and we have you. I think I'm going to send out Hassan Chop for this, because I think all he has left is Shuckle, right? Yeah. Shuckle. Hmm. Hello, pal. How are you? Yeah, okay, so now we can fake it out, which isn't going to do much, but it'll stop him from doing anything this turn, so here comes the fake out. Didn't do much, but stalled him this turn, and now we can just go for the uh, waterfall. We are faster than him still, though, so that's good. We can flinch him. Wow, that did a lot. Okay, Citrus Berry, cool. I think we can still two-shot it. He flinched! Go for the kill! Flinch him again, buddy! This man's gonna, like, duke it out to the very end. Oh, we got him! There we go, guys! We won our battle with Milo! So, we even showed off the, the uh, Gigantamax Appleton. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. This is still Monday's video. I already uploaded the insect one. I will see you guys... Tuesday for the next two gym leaders. Until then, guys, have a wonderful day. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, click the links in the description if you guys want to hit me up or look at any of my stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, and have a wonderful day.